Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to discuss a use case by which you can make the most of QR codes for your business. I'm going to show you how you can send an email automatically whenever someone scans your QR code. So if you have ever wondered that you can send an email to anybody along with your business details, your brochures, etc. whenever someone scans your QR code, then we have covered you today. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step process of setting up an automation, which is going to send emails along with your business details and collateral material automatically whenever someone scans your QR code. So without any further ado, let's begin. To set up our workflow, we are using an integration and automation tool known as Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and you can find the link of this page in the description as well. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So sign up right now from the given link and then you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And from this dashboard, click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So let me give a name here. So I have given this name. Now I can click on create and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation. That is the trigger and the action. So trigger is that event which which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the automated response of the trigger. So guys, here we want that whenever someone scans our QR code, then we should send an email automatically. Now guys, to generate that code, QR code, I'm using QR.io platform. Okay, you can use any other QR code generator as you want. And this QR code is linked with a Google form. So whenever someone is going to scan this code, he or she is going to be redirected to the Google form I have created where they have to fill in some details and submit the form and an email will be delivered from our site. Okay, that is what we want. So here you can see I have attached the URL of the form here. Okay, and uh, whenever someone is going to scan this, this form will open up. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the Google form attached with the code. Okay. Now guys, in the trigger, I'm going to select Google Forms as the trigger application and getting the form submitted is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. So, uh, search for Google Forms here. Then select the trigger event as new response received. And it will give you this webhook URL. And with the help of this URL, by following these instructions written here, we can create a connection with Google Forms. So guys, let's follow the instructions. First of all, you, we need to open the form in a new incognito window because I am using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. Okay, so if you're also doing that, it's better to open the form and the spreadsheet attached with this form in a new incognito window to make the proper connection. Here you can see uh, this form has a spreadsheet attached. Okay. So this is the spreadsheet spreadsheet attached with the form. Now guys, in this spreadsheet, you need to click on extensions and from this add ons menu, you have to click on get add ons and here you have to install an add on which is called Pabli connect web hooks. So you can search for Pabli connect web hooks here in that search bar like this. Okay. And you can install it. It will just take two minutes. And after that, you can refresh your spreadsheet. And after refreshing this spreadsheet, when you click on extensions, you will find the Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here. From here, you have to open the initial setup. Under initial setup, you will find these two fields, the Webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in this URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow and the trigger in the trigger column, you have to mention the final data column of your spreadsheet. Final data column means the a column in which the data is entering finally here you can see as we are going to receive the form submission the data will appear here in column a then b c and d so as the data is going to appear here that is going to trigger the workflow so let me just copy the url that i got from my workflow 
and let me just uh, enter it here in the initial setup so here I'm entering the webhook URL okay and uh, here I'm going to click on submit and you can see the setup is configured successfully and here you can see in the workflow guys as we have copied the URL it started showing waiting for the webhooks response this means guys now we can perform a test submission test submission means now I'm going to manually fill the form with some test data and the data will be captured here in the response section okay and with that data only we can we are going to set up the automation further so this is my form let me open it for you and let me fill in some demo details here so the email address of a person is demo at the rate pablichutes.com okay here let the name be demo name and the location is let's say New York okay and here I'm going to click on submit button and you can see the form submission has been recorded let's check in the workflow here you can see we have received the form submissions data and it is showing the responses this is the location the full name and the email address right now guys I want to send an email to this address along with the collateral material of my uh, business like the prospectors or a brochure or catalog anything here in the action step to send an email I'm going to connect with Gmail application and the action event would be send email click then click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with Gmail it will bring you to this window from here here you have to select that Google account by which you want to send the emails then you have to provide some additional access to your account so just click on con allow here and you can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected here guys it is asking for the recipient's email address so I want to send the email to this person who have scanned our QR code so here I'm going to map the email address of that person only so you just have to click here and from the last step you have to map the email label like this okay so whenever you are going to click on any of the uh, field here the previous step will appear like this and from here only you can see the data here in the email subject you can put any subject like uh, company companies collateral material I'm just showing you the demo you can change all these things according to your specific requirement okay here in the sender's name you can put your name here you can select the content type of the email I'm selecting plain here you can type the email content that you want to type so let me type the email here so here I have written the email and here I, you can see I have written thank you for showing interest in our business after thank you if you want to address the person's name you can map the name from the previous step here we have received the name also I'm mapping it okay and here we are lucky feeling lucky to share with your business collateral so in the attachment I'm going to map the link of the file that I want to share uh, on email so this is my Google Drive application here I have uploaded my file inside I have saved my file here in my drive and from here I'm going to uh, get the link of this file so I'm just copying the publicly accessible URL you have to provide the access just click on share and from here you have to select anyone with the link option now click on copy link and you have to paste the link here in this attachment field like this so that you can share this file to this person okay now guys let me show you how the email is going to look like by clicking on save and send test request button you can send a test email to this address that you have mapped here so I have opened the uh, inbox of that address here you can see let me click on save and send test request button and let's see if we got a new email all right so this is the response I received and uh, let us check here you can see we have received a new email and the subject is company's collateral material okay and here you can see this is the same subject I have written and let me open the email and here you can see it is showing thank you demo name for showing interest in our business we feel lucky to share with your business collaterals feel free to talk to us for further steps and this is the file attached here 
and here this is the same file I had here inside my Google Drive collateral primer dot PDF and here you can see the same name okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to do it only once after that it will work automatically whenever someone is going to scan our QR code the form will open up which is attached here and as the form is going to be submitted the emails will be delivered automatically and guys I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel.